ever wanted to perform some type of chemical experiment but were not too sure about the possible results? Do you worry that the reaction would be hazardous and would like to learn more about these unknown risks? <laughs> Whoa! Sometimes, no matter how many precautions you take before conducting an experiment, something might go wrong. Being in a remote location is a surefire safe way to preventing accidents from potentially dangerous experiments. The solution is ChemBot, a remotely controlled robotic arm mounted on a mobile base with a wireless video camera. Here is the SOLIDWORKS CAD model. This is the implementation of the design. The robot is composed by five main modules. A base, sliding track, shoulder, wrist, and gripper module. The base module moves the entire robot along a single axis called the main axis, supporting all the other components. The sliding track over the base supports the two remaining modules and moves the arm perpendicularly to the main axis. The linear sliders extend and retract through means of a pulley system. Two pulleys are mounted on one axle and as one pulley is taking in ribbon, the other is dispensing it. The shoulder joint is a pre-assembled module of the kit and it is responsible for most of the vertical displacement of the arm. It is mounted on the sliding track. The wrist is mounted on the shoulder arm and provides two extra degrees of freedom for the gripper. It is mainly used to maintain the gripper parallel to the floor and also rotate objects. The camera is mounted on the wrist, but it is always aligned with the floor to keep a better track of the movement. The gripper is a component of the kit and is used to grasp objects. It is mounted on the rotating component of the wrist. In order to implement the functionality of an arm using the parts in the kit, some of the kit components were used in a special manner. For instance, I used the zip ties to keep the ribbons always tensioned, taking advantage of the zip ties' elastic properties. Another unconventional use of the parts is the Delrin spacer, used as a support for the rotating wrist assembly. The spacers relieve the stress applied on the wrist's axle by supporting the gear at its circumference, acting nearly like a turntable. The wrist assembly further required me to modify the 60 tooth gear and drill four holes to support two L brackets. These two L brackets in turn hold the gripping mechanism in place. The only non vex part used on a robot is the party balloon ribbon. This is used in the linear slider system. Here is an example of the ChemBot in action. Although this is a well-known basic chemical reaction, this example serves to illustrate the potential use in safely and remotely handling more hazardous materials. Two cameras, one pointed towards the robot at a distance, and the other mounted directly on board the ChemBot, allow for precise remote controlling of the robot parts. The cup on the left is filled with baking soda, while the one on the right is filled with vinegar. The gripper claw is able to pick up the cup with the baking soda, move it to the desired location, and pour the contents into an empty reaction cup. Watch as the ChemBot performs the same actions with the vinegar. Once the reaction has taken place, the camera on board can be used to analyze the results. Thank you for watching.